Hello everyone, it has been a while since I have updated you guys on my Jasper animatronic restoration. I apologize, however, I do have a lot of progress to show you all today. So let's go over there and I will show you what has happened since my last update in May. Alright, so the first thing you guys will probably notice is that I do still have the 3D printed eyelids on. Now, um, obviously these are too big, they will not fit when the mask is on. So I do not want to use 3D uh, printed eyelids with the finished product. I want to have either originals or uh, reproductions that have the metal ring so I'm still looking for those if anybody has them or knows where I can get them or will sell me some uh, please send me a message I would ha be happy to buy them I really need them uh, the restored eyes have also been installed so these were completely sanded down uh, repainted here with this uh, paint I picked out and then this iris right here is uh, the original and then this one right here on this side is new old stock so uh, I think they turned out nice they look really good Another change is right back here. Uh, the eyelid cylinder has been completely replaced. This is brand new. Uh, here's the old one. Uh, this one, uh, you can see the rod here is bent, so this would not uh, go in and out. Uh, it was bent and it would not work, so it had to be completely replaced. So we got a new one right here, and that one is working great, which you'll see in a minute. Coming on around the back of the animatronic, you can see we have all of this air uh, tubing set up. All eight movements are piped, as you can see. This took a lot of trial and error to get right. You can see there's a lot of different kinds of hoses. The first time we put air into this thing, um, it just, everything leaked. There was, nothing was working. There was just air coming out of everything. So, you know, it took a lot of times of um, unplugging it and then redoing stuff and getting more hose. You can see we have all different kinds of hose down there. It took a while to be able to find the uh, right kinds of hose to use for this. Uh, for all the different movements and for the different cylinders because they all have different uh, fittings as you can see different sizes so it took a while to get all that right but as we plugged it in more and more we reduced the number of air leaks and it was very uh, nice to see that happen the more and more we tried the less and less air leaks we got every single time so i think with that it is time to air the animatronic up over there we have the temporary air compressor obviously that is not a big enough tank to run the show however uh, for now, for testing movements, uh, that is adequate. So I'm going to air it up, and you can see uh, Jasper move for the first time in many years. All right, so he is all aired up. Now, the first thing I did want to point out real quick is that we do still have one air leak, which is on the head turn cylinder. So if I put the mic up to it, you'll probably be able to hear. Now that right there is leaking. We have not figured out a course of action for that just yet. The movement does still work, which you'll see in a second. So it's not the end of the world, but it is uh, leaking. That is the only thing that's leaking. The other cylinders do not leak. So now that you guys know about that, let's uh, watch the animatronic move. All right, so I guess we will just go in order here. Movement number one is the mouth. So I'm just going to hit the blue button on the valve bank. We don't have a controller hooked up yet, but we can still test the movements using the valve bank. There it is, mouth works. All right, so here we go. The uh, head turn left, that makes him come swing over this way. And then head turn right, makes him go that way. So that one works, this little leakage in the cylinder. Now this is the one that we seem to be having the most trouble with right here. This cylinder right here for the head up. This one really seems to be struggling to uh, get his head to lift, as you can see. Let me hit the button and you'll see here, See how that moves. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to look, but it just seems very slow to me, and then it crashes down. Uh, we tried adjusting the uh, flow controls here, um, but it didn't really make much of a difference. It just keeps always doing that, so I think maybe there's something wrong with the cylinder. I'm not really sure. Uh, if anybody ha has had that problem, let me know in the comments, because uh, that is interesting. I don't think it's supposed to act like that. All right, next I'm gonna show you the eye movements. So we have eyes right. There's that good then we have eyelids there they go open and close the 3d printed ones do work it's just they uh, are not going to work with the mask and I do have that airline reverse so that way the eyes stay open uh, for testing so we can see the uh, eye turns without having to have the eyelid cylinder activated I will be switching those airlines back so they're in the correct orientation but for right now they do that and then there's the eyes left It took several tries to find hose that would fit these uh, eye turn cylinders. I ordered several, and then we finally found one that would work. All right, now I believe the only movement I haven't showed you guys yet are the hands. So let me reach over here and hit the button, and you're gonna see. 
there's that hand. And then over here, sorry, it's hard to do this by myself, is that hand. So hands work as well. All right, so there you go. You've seen all eight movements function for the first time in a very long time. Uh, once again, it is the head up that seems to be giving some issues there, and then the uh, head turn is leaking. So we're having some problems with the head cylinders, but everything else seems to be working great. So that was a huge success uh, getting this aired up and seeing all the movements uh, function. One more update I have for you guys today is that I have purchased the lumber that we are going to use to build Jasper's stage. Uh, we are going to be building a smaller version of the road stage box that he sits on. So these right here are going to be uh, the supports. These are two by threes and they will hold him up. And then right here, we have the outsides of the box. This is a really expensive MDF wood. Uh, the reason we got the MDF is because it'll be super easy to roll paint onto this. Uh, we're going to use a machine to cut out the um, rectangles in the uh, middle of the one that goes on the front. There will also be an access door in the back one uh, to be able to put a light inside. And then right here we have this piece of plexiglass that is going to go inside that's going to be uh, inside those strips that are on the front. And that way the light will shine through on the other side just like it does on the road stage. All right, guys, I figured I'd leave you off with my Gemini that I bought to add to Jasper's lighting setup. This is not an original CEC one, but it still serves the same purpose. I hope you guys enjoyed the November update. I think everything is coming together very nicely and I cannot wait to update you guys again. Thanks for watching.